let you know what time it is. It's delivery day. All right, new arrival today, Reddick Brown Ford. This is iconic silver in the 2023 Shelby Super Snake F-150 uh, truck, black stripes, beautiful, beautiful chrome wheel. So it's got a chrome wheel, chrome exhaust setup. Now there are a couple options. You can do black wheel, black exhaust. So you do have that option on the Super Snake truck. 775 horsepower, all high quality components, Whipple, Fox, Shelby, you name it all the high quality brand names on your conversion vehicles. Okay, so little known fact, in 2020, we did our very first silver Super Snake F-150. Turned out incredible. So it was a first year of production that we used that color. Now, something odd, the client removed the stripe. So this thing was an absolute hit online. Somebody did a stripe delete, it turned out okay. So we do remove stripes here. Uh, if you've got questions, most of our stripe colors are gonna be black or gray. Uh, we try not to do too many exotic colors just because, you know, the take rate on somebody wanting that color, but we can remove stripes if you need it. Uh, you can just park it like right on the other side of this little brick wall type deal. That's good right there. Concrete, but whatever. Hey, so new for this year, 2023 model. This is the King of Hammers uh, Ford Bronco. There's 250 produced. This is the most off-road capable Bronco to hit the market. Limited production, King of Hammers, Ford Bronco. We're excited. Front and rear custom bumpers, steel bumpers, LED lights from Vision. You've got a 37 inch tire, 18 inch Vision wheel. King of Hammers graphics all over the place. Fox shocks upgraded. Fender flares, those are carbon fiber to really polish off the look. So our friends at Fox Factory have partnered with one of the most iconic names in off-road sports, King of Hammers. This is the 2023 Ford Bronco King of Hammers Edition, a limited 250 production uh, sport SUV. Now I'll tell you, here's what we've got. Cactus gray on this 2023 model. You're gonna see King of Hammers uh, graphics all throughout. Really nice touches. Uh, they're subtle, not overdone. Steel front bumper replacement with a 10,000 pound worn winch. Uh, it's your off-road lighting. You're gonna see a carbon fiber fender flare on all four corners, really cool touch there. Four inch lift on the Bronco. It's gonna carry these 37 inch mud terrain uh, BFG tires and that 18 inch vision wheel. Now, one of the things that make this, this fully off-road capable underbody full skid plate. So you've got a full skid plate under the body. Fox 2.5 shocks. So tons of shock suspension upgrade, skid plate. So you've got some reliability there, some safety structural system. So you're going to notice the King of Hammer graphics right here uh, on the rocker. Real sweet King of Hammer logos. Steel uh, step plates here for your uh, running boards. King of Hammer upgraded leather interior. So you've got upgraded leather interior inside your Bronco. All your upfitter switches are labeled for those parts. 
uh, including your winch and your off-road lighting. Cool King of Hammer graphic here on the back side, so that's where you're going to see some subtlety to you where you can see that cactus gray, plus some of that additional setup there uh, here on the King of Hammer graphic. Rear steel bumper as well, and a fifth full replacement tire and wheel combo with that extra brake light in the back. Now, this truck does come equipped with a lot of off-road accessories. There is a bikini top that's added too, so if you want a bikini top added, there's also a soft top that's included for those of you that need you know, the soft top option. Lots of tools, uh, your air compressor, so a lot of technology, parts, tools for those of you that are gonna be out there on the road doing some off-road uh, driving. Real sweet setup from Fox and from King of Hammers. Cool build. We are about to take this beautiful car out for a little drive. Gonna go easy on it, as always. See you then. All right, so we're in the Mustang. Let's start it up. Oh my goodness. We're gonna drive this. So we're currently in a Shelby Super Snake Mustang. You just heard that exhaust. It sounds amazing. It's got 825 horsepower. You'll see right here, do not accelerate hard, exceed 4,000 RPMs, pull a trailer or use cruise control. Definitely no trailers being pulled and I'm gonna try to stay within reason with all of the other stuff and uh, just give you guys a good POV of what this thing sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead and change this into sports steering. So I asked you guys to comment on a TikTok that I posted earlier today. And I said, ask me some questions if you have any about this Super Snake Mustang. Someone asked, how does it drive? And how does it ride? Is it smooth or whatnot? Let's find out. A lot of people were talking about how, why would you get a manual? Why would you get an automatic? There were a lot of controversial opinions. And it was really half and half. There wasn't one that had more votes than the other or anything like that. It's really just what you want to do. You want to have fun? You want to row through the gears? Go fast every now and then? Or strictly want to go fast with that 10 speed automatic? Got that auto rev match, I love that. You can tell this thing just wants to go. It's such a raw type of power too. I love how you can see your fuel pressure, oil temps, boost pressure, all that kind of stuff. It's so cool just to have that visual right there. That was just me easing into it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna full throttle it or put anything to the floor with this thing. I'm just gonna drive it like I would someone else's vehicle. That's what we do here. We really don't beat on any of these things. Sometimes we get requests for videos of some minor acceleration and stuff like that, but we follow this pretty heavily. We also make sure all of our techs follow that and they know that as well. I'm gonna throw this exhaust into track mode, because why not? I hope this audio comes through pretty well. Supercharger sounds so good. Mm -hmm. 
So the axles have been upgraded on this. I know that's a big concern for when you're pushing power with these S550s. There's a combination of Ford Performance and some Shelby components underneath this car that hold up the rear end of it as well as the front end. Just going to take it on some more back roads and just have a little fun with it. I just love how raw the entire thing feels. It's very smooth, it's balanced, everything feels right, but it's raw. We've got 825 horsepower in these two hands right here, which it does say on the top of this. I know I've brought this up three times already, but it's very important that you follow that. That way your warranty stays intact, and everything breaks in properly. You don't wanna go doing full pulls at 20 miles on the dash like we've got right now. favorite things about this car in specific and we've talked about it on TikTok a couple times the color with the stripe color and the wheel finish so it's got a chrome finish on the wheels it's got white stripes and it's got an eruption green paint job the whole idea behind that is the Tokyo Drift Mustang from uh, the toward the end of the movie kind of where they race up the mountain that he needs a car and they build that car as a family. And I don't know, that's that's just one of the movies that brought me up as a kid that inspired me to get into cars. I still love the movie, still love all the movies, aside from the Avengers showing up in the last couple movies. Kidding, but you get what I mean. And I, I think having that cool story with this one just makes it a, a, a really different car. It's got a backstory to it. We've also done a silver with blue stripes and chrome wheels like the, uh, like the Need for Speed movie. it wants to sway or anything when I do some minor pulls. The car feels extremely planted. It's been lowered as well, which helps that. That was a sketchy hill. like this or just what you want to take this kind of car on there's a lot of places you could take this car really say I like I like windy roads I like curves going up a gear going down a gear that dog scared the crap out of me so someone asked is it hard to drive with this much power honestly no the clutch in these are pretty forgiving I mean, it's really hard to stall if you're a if you're a novice in driving six-speed manual. It's I could see how it could be a challenge, but really anybody could get in this car and drive it. Cool. I know like cars like a Carrera GT. If you just throw anybody in that, you're gonna be buying a new clutch. A car like this that starts off as a GT Premium. It's not like the uh, it's not like the GT350 where there's no 
spring in the clutch. It just pulls straight out instead of having some tension like this clutch does. These are some of the noisiest roads I think I've ever been on. It's like they're not they're not terrible. They're just noisy. I'm gonna pull over and swap the camera location for a little bit. back now move the camera position a little bit I'm not usually the one on the camera I guess everybody decided to drive down this road at one time I love this color so much it attracts so much attention because it's such a unique color Eruption Green, when it came out on the Bronco, was my favorite, and then they added this to the Mustang. So now we got, got that color in both places. I'm curious to know, I know we ask this a lot, but it's a good question because people have some really good ideas. What, if you were to spec a Super Snake Mustang, what wheel color would you choose? What color car would you choose? Stripe color? Let us know. I want to I want to imagine some of you guys builds what you think would look good. Thing. I've got a 2024 in Rapid Red GT Premium. It's got all the good options. That one should be here in November. Pretty excited for that. So it's no super snake though. As you can tell, I was pretty light the whole video. So you can imagine once you get this thing broken in, you take it on some back roads, take it to the track, wherever you want to take it. I think that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned every Friday at 5. Post every Friday at 5. Let us know what you want to see. We've got tons of trucks, tons of available content to shoot just all a matter of what everybody else wants to see. We'll see y'all next time.